name is Martha Friend. Uh, you are in my home. Uh, also my art studio. I live in Somerville. I think I really started collecting things in high school. And I have things in this house that I've had since high school, actually. I come from a family that loves yard sales and old dumps in the woods and antique stores in New Hampshire. We come from rural New Hampshire. So I was always surrounded by people who were always on the hunt for treasures of one sort or another, but old treasures. And then as time went on, just visually, I was just attracted to so many things. I've traveled a lot in South America, so Mexican art and South American art really appeals to me. I love old, rusty things. I love, oh, what do I have in here? I have a collection of heads, plaster heads of beautiful, dark-skinned women. I don't know how that collection got started, but I saw one and loved it, and the next thing I knew I had 20. I love religious art for all kinds of reasons, partly because it's easy to come by and you can find it really easily. I have each room of my house has kind of evolved uh, with certain themes. This room, I would say if I had a theme in here, hard to tell, but there's a lot of orange and yellow in this room. And a lot of, again, it's a lot of hand work done in uh, Central America, Colombia, Bolivia. Maybe you noticed that the library, which is the room over there, has a Wild West theme. There's cowboys and Indians and Native American pottery and uh, a lot of Wyoming imagery and the Grand Canyon. Because that's kind of the Grand Canyon Wild West room. So each room kind of has evolved over time, individually. Well, I mentioned before that I was a professional photographer for many years. I photographed weddings and portraits uh, for many years, and it was great. Actually, weddings are a beautiful event to be a part of and to photograph, and people are very happy with wonderful pictures of their wedding and portraits of their children, but there came a time when I didn't want to do that anymore, right around the time that digital photography was coming in. So I was a film photographer, but what, Leaving photography behind allowed me to really explore different ways of making art. And I started with rusty assemblage and then moved into dioramas pretty quickly. My studio is in my basement and I collect boxes of all kinds and I build dioramas. Every little box tells a story and I use lots of vintage ephemera and pictures from old books and pictures from calendars and old magazines. I have a huge collection of vintage printed material in my studio. People are so reluctant to uh, have a lot of stuff around and they make all these rules for themselves, I've noticed. I can only bring one thing into the house if one thing leaves. And that's a rule I hear a lot. And I don't have that rule, you know. I just keep adding to this collection. And it's wonderful to have lots of stuff in the house. So I would say don't use that rule. If you want to collect things, it, collecting is joyous, really. I mean, it's really so much fun to go out and find things that could fit into this collection or that collection, particularly if you're going to repurpose them the way I do or make them into other things. But the flip side of that is not to get too attached to things either. Getting attached to objects can be a, a downfall. Things break, um, and when things break, things break. Sometimes you can fix them, sometimes you cannot. Anyone who wants to contact me, via my website is probably the easiest way, which has all my contact information, marthafriend.com. Thank you.